Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today we are coaching you, a member from the community. Someone came through and submitted their gameplay via the Discord. That'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment where I'm going to take a look at their gameplay. We're going to take a look at their stats, look at what they want to improve, their strengths and weaknesses, and then we're going to break down their entire gameplay together live as a stream. If you want to be a part of the action, make sure to join me live over on stream. This is nice because there may be a lot of questions that I answer that you don't see here on YouTube that you may want to be a part of. So make sure you are following me over on Twitch as well. Live stream content is kind of where it's at. But without further ado, let's get right into it to see who we are going to be reviewing. So we are reviewing Son of Monkey. He says, hey, first off, thanks for your service. I'm a Navy corpsman and value the things you've done for this country. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate your uh, paving the way for me over in the Navy. Thanks, brother. He says, Warzone is the first BR I've played, so I'm still trying to get the hang of the basics. Currently, I have a 0.89 KD, but I'm working to get that 1.0. Keep in mind, that's probably like his, you know, current KD, but his overall KD may be rising. Uh, but I'm working to get that up to 1.0. Hope you can review what I got attached here and let me know where I can make some adjustments. Thanks again. Strengths, movement, tactics, rotation, and trigger discipline. Weaknesses, map knowledge. Yeah, we're on a new map. Immediate movement and gunfights. Okay, curious to see what he says about that. And then rapid decision making. Okay, so it looks like we got some of the big picture stuff with like the rotations, trigger discipline. Um, and we got some of the micro stuff down, like the movements, but more of like the fast actions um, might be lacking a little bit. What you want to improve once most, how to spot enemies without a UAV. Okay, that's also tough though. How to spot enemies without a UAV and also having map knowledge. I feel like a lot of reason people don't like Verdansk and they really liked Caldera was they knew where to expect enemies to be coming out of in Verdansk. Wherever we were rotating, we knew where we expected someone to be, right? This is different. It's a new map. We're still learning the rotations, where people typically like to camp and when they rotate out. So that, that's going to be tough. And then rapid decision making. Uh, where to evade when facing low cover areas. Love that. But that, even though it's rapid, we can plan ahead of time. We'll talk about that. All right. Let's get into the gameplay. Intercept. Okay, so I'm always looking at the basics. He's got the square mini map. He's got the wide FOV. He's on 27 ping. All right, so why did we choose to land here? We got a buy station, but I always like to land on contracts. Something in specific. I don't really like this area to land. It might be safe, but... I don't feel like there's a lot of loot here. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time focusing on the basics, right? We're going to try to get you into those engagements. I will say, however, I would much rather take an MP40. Even though it's gray, I will take an MP40 over that Sten any day of the week. So, yeah, you only found $2,800 there. Didn't really find too much. All right, sweet. So we're looting through here. All of this is free. I'm really wanting to focus on those in gunfight decisions. And your rotations. So sweet. You're heading down towards a buy station. And it looks like you're going to get into a gunfight, but off to a good start. Got a nice little STG. Me personally, like I said, I, I always say I like to rotate with my lightweight weapon. Just get around the map a little bit faster. But it seems like you got, you know, nice little slide cancels there. Kind of hesitant. See, th this, always talk about it, right? We're trying to figure out where someone could be. We're, ca we're looking towards where we expect someone to be, right? So as he's pushing through here, it looks like he might have a little bit of information. It looks like that door might be open. I think it is. And that's kind of like queuing in his cross check. So he's like, okay, I'm not going to go down straight towards a buy yet. I'm going to see if there's anything around. I'm going to keep looking at these balconies, look for information. You see me do this kind of like little pause. That way, if anything goes wrong, all of a sudden, I could just instantly drop, right? I can just prone out and be safe. He, unfortunately, gets caught in transition, but finds a nice piece of cover. Let's start that plating up process a hell of a lot faster, right? Look how much time we waste. Okay, now, I'm starting to plate now. One plate. Two plate. Three plate. I could be fully plated by the time you start plating. And it's good that you're making these jiggle peaks, right, to check what's going on. But we show that all the time where we can plate 
and shoulder at the same time. Right now, it seems like you shoulder and then plate. You're doing a little bit of... Yeah, this is great. And that's fine. You're just going to end up... Ooh, very risky. Keep in mind, you only... You only have 100 HP. Okay. This, you crack him. He's clobbered. He's getting in undercover. I like this idea, but if he were to ego you, you're dead right here, period. Okay. We can still plate up and sprint at the same time, so let's do that. But then the second that we get shot, boom. Our mind should go, where is the nearest piece of cover? And that nearest piece of cover is cutting to the right and going inside. So even if you make that decision right here and realize, oh shit, there's someone to my left. Once again, it is still faster to double back from where you came and work all the way around here. Because he was using like, uh, I think it sounded like an M1 Grand. Okay. Good job though. Being a little bit of a perfectionist, but that's how you get better. Nice. Pre-aiming. This is a great technique. Notice how he's he's clearing out one section. Boom. Okay, so he's cleared out to this column. You'll notice he jiggle peeks back. Then he clears out past that column. Then he jiggle peeks back. And then he so he's just like slowly sectoring out the pizza pies. Same thing. Very methodical. I don't think I see that guy. But hey, assert dominance either way. Catches the guy out. Nice. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, great kill, right? Let's let's lean forward as a, as a more tactical player, right? Always be thinking about what your opponents are thinking, right? And I, I know this sounds super big brain, right? But hey, we shoot unsuppressed. We shoot even more unsuppressed. We The guy possibly hears ah. this player dying. What do you think this player is going to do? Is he just going to keep sitting and camping? Possibly. At the very least, he's going to keep sitting and camping and he's going to get a little bit curious and possibly put himself right in that little window for you, right? Or what I would do is, oh, they're in a fight? Third party. Hit the cross. So as soon as you get this knock... Drop everything that you're doing and check this window. Even if you check this window while you're reloading. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of it, but keep in mind, he could have already crossed here and you would have never seen him. Be very intentional about that. Be very cutthroat about not letting someone third party you. Good though. Not You're, you're not one of those guys that instantly goes for the loot. You're not playing like a 0.85 KD player. You got nice slide cancels. You got, you know, good, good discipline there. Okay. Me, the second I see that, I'm mounting. But that's just me. Okay. Opting to go get a little bit of extra loot. Nothing wrong with that. Hit back inside. Try to get some more information. I think you're playing this great. Where the heck is... So you can tell. You guys can't really see it. It might be a little bit tough. It looks like there's an arrow, right? So whenever that guy is shooting, you can see... You can see an... Oh, I don't know if you're seeing an arrow or not. It's kind of tough to tell on your recording quality. If there's an arrow, you know he's like up on a balcony or something. If there's not, you know he's lower. But I, I believe there was an arrow. All right, sweet. Now we have to make a decision. We got the zone to our back. It's going to close in in one minute, but we don't want to wait the entire time to push this guy, right? We don't want to push him with the zone on our back. So we have to make a decision to get involved, get inside of this fight. I love the little mount. Only bad thing about this is you are blocking off. See, this iron sight is blocking this window, and this magazine is blocking this patio. So you're focusing all of this and blocking off a lot of other angles where he could come from. Okay, so we're committed to it. I love the deep wrap. Absolutely love the deep wrap. If I'm you, you know where your threat's coming from, right? I would prone out right next to that box. I think it'd be a little bit safer. I need recon. And while I'm at it, I'd grab a self, homie. You have enough for a self and a pocket UAV with $10,000. I'd keep one in the pocket, pop a UAV. 
Nice job. You got a couple options here. You currently have two long range weapons, so I would do exactly what you're doing, but I would wrap even deeper right. Right? Because right here, you're kind of in no man's land. Very nice intentional dive towards cover. And now all of a sudden, you are gatekeeping him. Fantastic job. Really, really well played. You can see from that up arrow, the up arrow is telling me that he's right here in this corner. And if you wanted to be cheeky, you could you could wall bang him, but then that might cause him to freak out and make some long rotations or something. Way to check your back there. Weird, so it's showing above and he actually is out wide. Get the kill. Nice job. With the amount of time that you had, I would have gone to probably loot his body, even if it did put you in the gas, just for a little bit of extra cash. Nice job. Work your rotations in. Get yourself a self. You're playing solos, homie. You're playing solos. The one-shot headshot, son of a monkey, please. Let's see the loadout. Uh, looks like an STG and a Sten with Quick Fix. Not a big fan of Quick Fix. Um... I don't really don't like double time that much. And some people are big on it. I'm a big, big fan of EOD because of how much they've buffed lethals. Frags do 225 damage. Simtexes do like 200 damage. Like EOD is going to save your life. Or you could rock cold blooded if you don't like getting marked by combat scout. Quick fix. I really don't think you're going to find a lot of use for unless you're playing um, Iron Trials. Not going to rock like, you know say anything bad about the loadout right because not everyone has all their weapons max level so i'm not even worried about meta builds we're more worried about gameplay and um tactics okay okay uh what was that what was that strength what was that strength we talked about about uh about, tr about trigger trigger discipline so we tr tr trigger trigger discipline now you might make the decision right because this guy's forehead is literally like Looking at you as you're running away, that he probably knows you're there, so might as well get some free shots on him. Great switch to your close range weapon. As soon as I hear returning for resupply, I want to make the most out of that UAV. I'm going to get one more ping, right? I want to be able to act on that. Oh, especially if you pop Daddy, homie. If you pop Daddy, Daddy popped. You see him on that corner? Fucking go, man. You've got one UAV ping left. You've got one... You, you've got... Dead Silence already popped. Let's make the freaking most of this. Full tax sprint. We don't need to aim walk because our, our footsteps are already quiet. Not to mention, if he peeks out of here, uh, a Sten is not going to win that gunfight. A Sten is not going to win this gunfight. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Yeah, so we, we wasted some utility there. Got Dead Silence. Make the most out of it. UAV as well. Uh, and now you're stuck, right? Where you don't want to, you you don't want to break a sound cue. But we do have good information, right? That the guy last seen was right here, right? So what you can do is use some of your utility, like a stun. Use the stun to break the glass, right? So stun, throw the stun out here, bounce it off that wall, and have the stun explode right here. Then if you get a hit marker, that's my hit marker. Oh, I was so good at first. That's my hit marker. Then you can just ape out this window or follow it out and ape out that window but right now because we use our dead silence because we used our uav we're just kind of like we're kind of stuck right okay boom hey there we go got the dead silence back in our hand now we're doing something with it okay we clear out the angles as soon as we clear out those angles and i don't know where he's at Let's get that information back. Let's cut left. Because we, we always want to act on information. We don't want to like lollygag around and waste our time, right? So it's like, okay, we popped the dead silence. We pushed off the last known UAV location. Well, guess what? We have a fire sale up. There's a buy right here. You still don't have self revive. We could pop three more UAVs because you have $5,000 or 1,200 apiece. So you can go 1,200, 1,200, 1,200. Boom, that's 3,600. Now you have an advanced UAV. Oh, gosh. U A V, and then you can grab another one for a pocket UAV. Okay, so that's forty eight hundred dollars right there. Feel like I'm in school. Okay, 
Get an advanced UAV. You're going to see everyone, even people ghosted. You have another pocket UAV for more rotations, and you get yourself a self-revive, which you didn't already have. But now we're waiting for the zone to close. And we just let that buy station go by us. Right? You can't see the money? Oh! Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you. $5,000. So sorry. Thank you. Shout out to Jin in chat. My bad. Okay. Here's $5,000. Making a nice wrap. Kind of along the edge of the zone, avoiding, you know, this kind of death trap of a building. People looking out on you, which I love. Good shots. If I'm you, I would maybe mount up on that tree, or you play mouse and keyboard, so you should have a button bound. I, I use my thumb button, so that way I can just press one button, and then I'm prone. It makes it great for drop shots. I know recoil is not crazy in this game, but if I have all the, if I have the time, I'm just going to drop shot, make my gun even more of a laser. Good shots. Mm, I was literally just about to say it too. Anytime we direct focus in one direction, we want to make sure and do a quick pivot and check the opposite. Right? Take those shots. He is no longer a threat to us. This guy is gone. He is in the ditch. So what am I going to do? I'm going to reload and focus on people who could be a threat to me on places where they most likely are going to be camping. I don't have to have extreme map knowledge to know this. It's a giant building. People are going to be camping on top of it. So while I'm reloading, that guy's no longer a threat. Look to the right. Especially, especially anytime you find yourself in no man's land. Every time you find yourself going through a no man's land transition piece, you should be paranoid and be like, if I get shot in here and they hit their shots, I am dead. Period. Dot. I cannot get to cover quick enough. I am dead if I get shot in the snowman's land and they hit their shots. Fortunately, he does not hit his shots. Get to the bush prone. Nice. Good movement. Good movement. Love the snake. I don't think you can mount on those bushes, so that's not worth mounting. This guy's now in a really rough spot. Way to chuck your back. Love that. I believe that guy is stuck there. I don't know map knowledge, so I can't say for sure. So, I love these. But if we're going to be doing these jump checks... Let's be doing these jump checks where we feel safe, right? Where we got, like, a little barricade we can chill behind. If we want to, like, jump and check and, like, all right, what's going on? If we don't, like right now, we don't have any hard cover. If you get shot, where do you go? I don't know. We do bunny hops. We jump, turn, bunny hop, nothing there. Okay, sweet, full sprint. Jump up, anything there? Nope. Okay, sweet, full sprint. But right now, I know it doesn't seem like much. I guess you're pretty good about it. Yeah, you're doing pretty good about it. My bad, my bad. Keep that up. I want to, yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to emphasize that. Like, we stop here. Now we can chill for a second. Self-revive. Nice job. Way to pop the UAV. Spots him close. Little bit of a shaker. A drill that I would su uh, suggest for you to do is called counter strafing. It's where you, as a player, are moving back and forth. So WASD, right? You're going D, A, D, A. So your aim, if you were not to change anything, would be changing with you, right? You would see bullet, a bullet spray like this, right? You need to work on counter strafing, where when you strafe left, your aim starts to change to the right. And when you strafe right, your aim starts to strafe to the left. It is an inverse relationship that you need to build to practice that whenever you are strafing, it is not actually affecting 
your aim. And you can just sit there in a match. So the nice thing is, every player has the exact same movement speed or roughly the same, right? Your ADS walking movement speed is going to be changing based off the gun and the attachment. But based off of what I just saw, you don't have that skill down. Right? When you strafe left, like, your aim is going... Kind of all over the place. Your vertical recoil drag is great. Now, hey, can you do me a solid and buy self-revive? Spot the player coming in. Dang! Stan actually hits kind of hard. Mm, buy another UAV. Nice job. I love this rotation. Check in the left. You know this guy's going to be pushing in and out of the zone. You spot him. Maybe you don't. I spotted him. Hey, he's to your right. To your right. To your right. Mm, he's to your right. Nice drop shot. Beautiful shots. Let's go. Okay. Let's say you don't spot him, right? You don't spot him to your right. Now you're kind of in a... You know, you're, you're in a decision moment, right? Your decision that you made is to rotate out into this field. Literally nothing here, right? But you know for a fact there is an enemy right in here who is going to have to rotate out or they're going to die to the gas. Or obviously not going to die to the gas, so they're going to rotate out. But you want to take a gunfight undercover. So what do you do? What I would do is just beeline straight for this wall and use that wall as cover. And I'm going to wait until he pushes out. Because what you do is you expose yourself for him to hit a really nasty corner. If you don't have a, hit a fantastic drop shot like you do, you're going to get gunned. So I would beeline towards him and use this wall as cover and then trust my close range abilities to win a gunfight rather than you being stuck out of nowhere and then not even spotting the fact that he's peeking you right here. Great reposition though. Great bunny hop to a drop shot. Played up. And now you're hitting the outside wrap. Love it. I don't know how I feel about the lower wrap. Just because we don't know who's above us and who's going to look down on us. But. Looks like it pays off for you. Wait. Oh my gosh. He pulls up his map and there's a guy right here. You hear the footsteps. Good trigger discipline. Pulls out the mid range to long range weapon. Gets the kill <laughs> where the Sten may not have. Nice job. Continues to hit the wrap. Uh oh. Okay, so you're checking for guys that might be coming from the high ground. That makes sense. But then you get tagged, most likely, from this building up here is where I would expect a sniper to be, right? Way to hit that movement. Trying to make it tough for the sniper to hit you. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay. Nearest piece of cover is right here. Okay, so maybe we work a little bit of a movement and then we get behind cover. And then you hit this really wide wrap. Okay, now our nearest piece of cover is right here. So let's go hit this piece of cover. <laughs> Nice job either way, though. Good movement. You would be a pain in the butt to hit as a sniper. Marking a rally point. Pull out the movement weapon. Working in between pieces of cover. This is awesome. If only you had a self-revive in case you did accidentally get knocked. Yeah, you push up. Wrap to the right. Just keep in mind, if he is in that big red, he can still see you. See, this, this cross-check right here is a pinwheel rotation. Wrapping the edge of the zone, checking for people who are getting forced in by the zone, and then making the wrap around the perimeter. Literal textbook. Checking out in front of them. Okay, we clear. All right, sweet. Anyone rotate in behind us? Check it. Please don't prove me wrong. Yes! Textbook. Check behind. Sweet. Nice. There is much time to cover your All right, so he continues to make the wrap. Pushes in towards the next zone. 
Bob's a player. Wrapping inside out. What is that guy thinking? Someone just yoinked your kill. You can look at your mini map to know that he's right here. Please tell me you notice that. Please tell me you notice that. Please tell me you notice that. Homie, you got an assist there. You did not get a kill. You got robbed. He is on your UAV. I think you noticed it, but you're trying to wrap early and gatekeep that guy. Or you're wrapping away from him? No, 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 no. So there, there, there's playing power positions. Uh, you, I, I just don't think you saw him. I don't think you saw him. Uh, you, you couldn't, the way you're playing. Um, yeah, I don't think you saw him. Assuming you did see him and this is the way you're playing, I would say it's a mistake because we always want to we always want to act based off of information, like known information. We know there's someone inside of this building, right? So we if we did want to wrap for a power position, we wouldn't want to wrap like all the way up here because then this guy could wrap lower and we would never see him again. We want to play for, you know, where we can execute based off the information we have. I'm just assuming you didn't see him. And my chat is telling me that you could also see him on your screen as well. But all good. Holding a power position. Okay, so zone close. And we spend 30 seconds inside of that shed. Just kind of scanning about. Just fine. But now we're committed to playing the edge of the gas. I would try to give yourself a little bit more buffer because just imagine that you get cracked by someone. Let's say someone in here cracks you right now. Okay. Now we got to get back behind cover. Okay. So let me dip back behind cover behind this rock. And by the time that you have played it up, the gas is already on your back. Now you're dealing with the gas mask animation. The gas, you know, it may have canceled your plating depending on whether or not it wants to work or not. Just give yourself a little bit more buffer. Nice rotation, checking all your angles. But after this next zone, I'll stop fast forwarding. Yeah, are you? Checking where you expect people to be. All right, let's see how the rest of this plays out. For me, even though I know someone's in here, just based off of this zone, right? So you can just barely see the edge of the zone right here, which means it's like right about here. And then the other zone is probably something like this, right? So you know everyone in here is going to be forced out, including yourself. So for me, this is one of those times where I say, screw the pinwheel, let's rotate early. Because while we could wait... Right, and play this zone and really get this guy that's camping inside of this shop and just really pull the pinwheel on him and just kill him. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to get gay kept by a lot of people. So this is one of the times where I would say, it's getting towards the end zone. Let's rotate early, find a power position within, within the inside of the zone and play for that. Otherwise, we're going to get caught behind the power curve and we're going to get held. And there's a natural piece of terrain here. You can just tell by the map, right? There's a road and there's a river, okay? Where there's a river, there's obviously going to be decreased elevation, which means there's a ridge line right here that you could rotate and get into. You don't even have to have map knowledge to know that. Nice, nice. Okay, and then right about here is where you commit. You pull out your fast, rain, your, your, your fast gun and you just rotate. This kill does not matter as much as your power position. Yes. Rotate with our fast gun. Rotate with our fast gun. It's just a sniper. Just go. If he hits you, he hits you. 
There we go. Okay. Put in a little bit of jiggle. I love it. Uh, we're kind of in no man's land right now. We're kind of setting up ourselves for a pinch right now. We could get shot in the back. Just jump in the water, brother. Yep, that's what I was worried about. There we go. He's above you. He's above you. He's behind you. See, the reason was, is like, there is a possibility that someone is camping down here. And I would much rather you push this aggressively with full plates where you can just gun someone who might be down here as opposed to, oh shoot, I got to duck down here for cover. And then ducking down there for cover while you're already hurt results in an instant lost gunfight. Like just, just go, you know? And you could play, you could play a disgusting angle. Like right here. You could play an angle crouching right here to where no one over the top can shoot over you unless they majorly overextend, but no one's going to look over that ridge line. And then you can just gun people as they're coming out as opposed to where you were earlier, which was in third party central. But let's see what you're doing. Cause. Oh brother, you're going to get shot. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's six people left. Okay. We know for a fact there's at least one here and there's probably more. And you were just, so, so open right now. Five Stay sharp. We're rotating towards the edge of the zone. That is not your kill. Do not worry about it until he gets up. Nice. I love that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're, if, we, if we go higher, we're exposed to more angles. Okay. We're getting away with some slop here. We're getting away with a lot of slop. I love the angles that you're checking. Not loving the late rotations you're making. Let's check our back. Just one more second for a late rotation. Yeah. In. And I love this. Oh, no. Oh, dude. I, I think you played that perfect. I, you, I think you played right here perfectly. You checked. Mm, but at the same time... This right here causes a lot, a lot of cover. And you know where this guy came from? He was either on the top of the bridge and jumped down, or he was that late rotating guy that shot you in the back coming from over here. Both of which would have been solved if you didn't make this weird loop-de-loop -loop back in and out of the zone. You started to recover. You, you, you checked that angle. I really wanted to see this play out. That guy Only lasered you, too. You and yes, an AS-44 for you. Thought he was the bridge guy? We can tell. Yeah, it might have been the bridge guy, because the bridge guy had a stun. The, guy, the bridge guy had an unsuppressed weapon and a stun. So it could have been the bridge guy. Is that a Cooper? I think it's an AS-44. That's an AS-44. I don't know what this guy's doing. Switch to your small weapon. Switch to your small weapon, brother. He doesn't have one. He only has a sniper. Um, What the hell did he do? He threw. I've got this. Oh, no. He runs inside of here. Panics. He's looking for the he's looking for the, the rabbit hole. Get stuck there. The throwing animation's only gonna slow you down. Oh no. And that's how it ends. I know you're pissed. I know you're pissed. But dude, really, really, really nice gameplay, man. Um Good movement. Like I said, work on that. Work on that counter strafing with your aim. Um, you, it seems like you're like this. Does not look like 0.85 KD, 1.0 KD gameplay. I will, however, say in a sweatier lobby, there were a lot of times where you would have been punished for how you were playing. Um, you know, some of the some of the rotations you were making, some of the angles you weren't clearing out where you should expect someone to be. Uh, getting stuck, caught in no man's land, right? Like, most likely in a in a better lobby, 
right here you are 100 dead he's not going to start shooting till he can see you or until he can guarantee a kill and you are dead and in a better lobby this is a mistake right because you know you saw someone here you know they're going to wrap in behind you in a better lobby you are dead um and there are a few other moments like that like all the way back at um here all right we take a shot come on man we're playing solos we know someone's camping on top of a big three-story building it doesn't matter what the map is it's a three-story building in solos people are camping it a better player would have gone to you uh but on the whole good movement good get like execution to cover um really nice clearing techniques but just take some of those moments where i was really really harping down on you and how you can be more efficient and buy a damn self-revive and more uavs buy a uav and get a pocket uav if you can afford it but a self-res wouldn't have saved you it, it technically didn't hurt you you were dead anyways to that guy that snuck up behind you but uh ggs man like it's it it is very surprising that your your kd is what it is um you clearly have made a lot of improvements and i'd be curious to know what your caldera kd is because it's more than likely significantly higher than what it used to be but uh ggs man thank you so much for supporting the channel by submitting your gameplay thank you again for your past service and thank you to everyone in chat who is hanging out once again if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe if you want to see more and join me live over on twitch for the next one peace